you got to be active. See, you got to be active in your area. And you, and you got you know, history makers are not people who sit and wish. History makers are people who get up and do. Can I tell you, well, I'm just one person. You know what? I'll tell you something. Abe Lincoln was one person who rose up at one time in history in, when the nation was fractured. He was a strong believer. And like him or not, he led the nation, and through what God worked through him, he put the nation back together. And he took a fraction, a fractured nation and put it back together. Imagine that. And then at the same time, began to help with legislation to set the slaves free. It's a lot to do. And you say, well, and then he was, well, he was assassinated. You know, can I tell you something? He did his piece. He did his part. And I'm not here to approve or disapprove of an assassination. But can I tell you something? When you live for God and you do what God has put you on this earth to do, you know what? To, 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 to die is gain, as Paul put it. To live as Christ, to die is gain. It's promotion. See, if we live our life here too much, and we say, ah, I can't even, and you, you claw and fight your way, it's, it's nothing. You know, I was reading something A.W. Tozer wrote about Abraham. Abraham, when he received the call of God, and he got the promise, and God told him what he was with through him, all the families of the earth would be, would be uh, blessed, and all these things. You know that material things meant nothing to him anymore. They didn't happen. That's why what he was looking for was that place of living a settled life, with houses. The promise was to have houses and to have lands and all these things. And he had all that. That's why it didn't matter. When he gave the best stuff up for Lot, he took the, the high ground, and God blessed him even more. Imagine, now listen, Everyone says, oh, well, to live a life of ease. You know what? If you, you know, you have a whole bunch of cattle. That's not a life of ease. Because he was wealthy. But that wealth kept him busy, didn't it? See, a lot of us think, oh, God, bless me. I'll be able to sit home and watch TV. No, it's not. You won't have time to watch TV with all the blessings. Because the blessings need to be maintained. So you obtain the blessing, and you maintain it so you can retain it. But he, those material things didn't have him. Because what he had was the promise of God on the inside and the seed of God that would produce what? God's wealth, God's wealth is in his people. So what did he do? Sons that were as numerous as the, sun, uh, as the stars. As numerous as the grains of sand. That promise, watch, made him wealthy on the inside. Because he shared God's idea of wealth. Think about that. It's your brothers and sisters that make you wealthy. It's not the material goods that do it. Can I tell you something? Sometimes we say, ah, increase is good on your job, but your prosperity doesn't come from your job. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's good to increase. Now, don't get me wrong. God's idea is increase, and increase is good. But see, we have to... It's faith in what He provides. And what you do with the provision that He gives is what increases your wealth. And if wealth has you, then you'll never increase. 